There are two ways to strike. One is to pull it back, you hit, and you pull it back, and the other is to go through. I want you to go all the way through. And you're gonna do this for two minutes at least. And if you wanna burn yourself out on something today, like really go all in. This martial arts class, you'll discover how to use your Kali martial arts sticks. Grab your Kali martial arts or a screamer or nice, any style of martial arts short stick and follow me. Start with one in each hand. You're gonna have a little bit of room coming out of the bottom, a little bit of stick left. Keep your hands closed, elbows kind of in, stomach up and in. You're gonna drop them and pull them back. Just down and back. Loosen up the shoulders, get that blood flowing, lubricate the joint, stay safe from injury during this workout. Now, from here, you're gonna shorten that motion instead of all the way back, that big angle, you're gonna go down with just the wrist. See how my palm faces up and the thumb goes outside? And then it's facing behind me, and then I bring it back forward. And as you do this, keep your hands closed so that you can increase flexibility. You can do this, but don't. This can go a lot faster at first, but you also have less control and you really need, I really need more flexibility in my wrists. We all need more flexibility. That's the great thing about martial arts, that body-mind connection. You get more flexible in your body, you get more flexible up here. Stop getting angry so much. Stop losing your temper and regretting things you say and do because you're so intolerant or inflexible stronger in your body, same thing happens up here. Now the second one just reverses it. Still palm facing up, thumb facing out. I'm going back. And I want you to do each of these, this one for 30 seconds, this for 30 seconds, and this for 30 seconds, and now put all three together, going down and going back. Again, start to speed it up. Pay attention to your elbows. Pay attention to your hands. Keep them closed. Fight for your flexibility. Fight to grow. And if you're in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, or uh, Jupiter, Florida, Tequesta, Palm Beach County, anywhere, I need some martial arts training partners. So if you're in this area, look me up. We're in Lake Park. We're close to all those areas. It's beautiful down here. Do that for two minutes. Down and up with that spin. If you want, add another spin. Spin all the way as you go down. Spin all the way as you go up. Those are just progressions. But start at least with one spin down, one spin up. Now that you're warmed up, I want you to put both sticks back, put your right foot forward, get your elbows in, and you're gonna slice through this first stick. Think about eyeball to cheek. Coming through the middle of the body, pull it back up in the middle of the body. Now there are two ways to strike. One is to pull it back, you hit, and you pull it back, and the other is to go through. I want you to go all the way through. Follow through in your strikes. One, two, and you're gonna turn your palm up. Three, four, and then you're gonna turn your palm up. Five, turn your palm over. Six, do that with me again. Right foot forward, right hand striking first. The left hand is chambered, it's ready. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Switch your feet, chamber the right, bringing the left foot forward, slice down one, all the way through, two, palm up, three, four, palm up, five, six, switch your feet, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
follow along in this Kali martial arts training. This is your first Kali martial arts follow along class with me here. Maybe it's not, I don't know. Maybe you've seen one of the other 50 of these videos that all look pretty much the same, but guess what? You need lots and lots of repetition of the basics. And then you wanna get really good at it, go find somebody who knows a lot more about Kali martial arts than I do. Which is a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch. A lot of people here on YouTube know a lot more than I do. Go fi uh, find Dan Inosanto, start there. He does a seminar, it seems, every single weekend, and he's like almost 90 years old. What an icon, founder of martial arts. You wanna talk about history of martial arts? Go find Dan Inosanto, start there. They say he was Bruce Lee's student, but it looks to me, you ever watch any of the movies? He's training with Bruce Lee, or he's fighting Bruce Lee in the movies? I think he knows a lot more than Bruce Lee. And I'm not trying to pick on Bruce Lee. I'm just saying, Dan Inosanto, guy's a legend. He's like Bill Wallace, who lives down here. Palm Beach Garden Martial Arts, you're gonna run into Bill Superfoot Wallace. Again, two minutes. Two minutes, always switching. Whichever hand is striking, that foot's forward. Start with the right, stick back, and bring the left under that arm here. You're gonna slice through with the right, and bring it all the way through to the left side. Watch again. This is the first one, and the second one is gonna come out and slice and bring it back. And now you're gonna slice through with the right, slice through with the left, right, left, Slice, 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 or strike, 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 strike. I'm opening and closing my arm. Watch what I mean. Starting from the starting position, right foot forward, right hand comes over, now I'm crossed. See how I'm crossed? The left hand comes through, and now I'm open. The right hand comes through, and now my arms are crossed, and now I'm crossed, and now I'm open. Start to move around while you do this. Right foot forward, left foot forward, going kind of in a semi-circle, or you can go in a full circle. You can go a little bit lower when you do it. You can go higher. Try to keep these arms tight. Start to move around. If you have a bag, move it onto this bag. Gonna do this for two minutes at least and if you want to burn yourself out on something today like really go all in once you get this motion stay with it for as long as you can until you start to feel those hands get hot and then they start to sweat and then you start to wonder hmm is that hot spot turning into a blister or are my hands calloused enough because I do push-ups and I spend my staff and I work with the other martial arts tools or not. Maybe you need to earn a couple of blisters or at least some thicker skin. Two minutes at a minimum. Look at these other videos. Find other ways to use your Kali martial arts sticks. I'll see you on the next video.